Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Salesforce and this is Rohit and today I am going to show you internationalization in Salesforce using LWC. So if you want to learn something new, so please watch this video until end and please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never miss any kind of update from my side and please subscribe the channel as well. So let's get started without any further delay. So first of all, let's understand what is internationalization in Salesforce using LWC. So Lightning Web Component internationalization property that you can use to adapt your component for the user worldwide web, right? Across languages, currencies and the time zone. So in a single currency organization, Salesforce admin set the currency local as a default language, default local and default time zone for their organization. User can set their individual language local and time zone on their personal setting pages. How to implement this internationalization in Salesforce using LWC? So let me open my VS code. So here you can see my VS code, right? So just you have to create one component here. So how to create the component? So just you have to press Ctrl C P if you are using window, Ctrl C P and create the lightning web component here. Component name, you can give any name as you want. Let's say international so internationalization component like that and create now you can see our component successfully created now and uh, you have to do one thing I will show you the two way to implement this in internationalization in LWC first is uh, by default provided by the LWC and second one we can customize it based on our requirement so first of all you have to import the namespace or um, we can say that packages from this Salesforce so how to use this one so you have to write import here and you have to write like local okay and from Salesforce packages like this one at the rate Salesforce slash i18n local so this module is already there in Salesforce so you have to use it if you want to use like currency time zone local any kind of things you can use it using this module and let me add another important like uh, currency so import currency from salesforce i18n currency so these two modules very most important if you want to implement this local and currency so let me do that one thing inside this component body let me create one property len number equal to some hard coded value right like 54321.123 something like that right so now this is my number right and uh, first of all let me create like formatted number right so you can create any variable as you want so formatted number equal to you have to create the instance of this uh, intl right so how to create that one so you have to write like new intl dot number format so we have to use number format and this is the you know like here this is the method under this method you have to pass like local like en us and then you have to give the you know like uh, style currency uh, which type of currency you want symbol something like that so you can give it right so let me save this first and after that en us you, you can see this us english us and style currency currency you can see like USD and uh, symbol if you want to show the symbol so always use this property here and that is called you know like uh, this is the like currency display so we can use like currency display here currency display symbol so this is the predefined you know like methods or module inside here so we have to use it here like that right so you can use it like this this is the first way to implement this local and later on i will tell you this local and currency how to use these two very uh, this module variables inside our this method okay first of all let me show you this one so let me save this and let me open html part under this html let me create the card first here and here you have to give like internationalization okay like demo and let me remove unwanted HTML from here let me add P 
here you can select currency colon and then formative tax so formatted number let me copy it and paste it here so let me save this and also you have to configure your XML file here like true and after that expose this component where you want I want record page app page home page so let me deploy this component and let's see so once you deploy this component you will be see this component inside app page record page home page inside the Salesforce so just open the org so now here you can see this is the org I already open just open any home page as you want so let's say like home page I need this home page here and click this home page and let me click on this gear icon edit this page under this lightning app builder page you have to drag and drop your component from left to right so just here you can see my component internationalization comp so just drag and drop anywhere as you want like this and just save it once you save it just go back here and you will be see the output here and in the USD so you can see the dollar sign right so this is the currency with dollar sign so I already mentioned in my code like dollar as a currency symbol that's why in like currency display so you can see the dollar sign you can change it based on your requirement let's say in this JS file let me change this here like India so EN EN IN and currency INR so let me save this let me deploy this component and let's see the output here so here just go to the uh, your org and just refresh this page so now immediately you can see the rupee symbol here rupee symbol here right before amount so you can see the rupee symbol here so this is you can change it any currency as you want let's say let me change into Malaysia so ENMY Malaysia currency and it's say like MYR Malaysia ring it so let me deploy it and let's see the output of this current component right so just let me refresh it here and now again you have to refresh it because sometime it may be cause case issue so immediately you can see the RM right RM and some value so RM is the Malaysia currency so that's why you can change it like that so this is the first way to implement this internationalization in the Salesforce using LWC now I want to use this local and currency so how to use th this very simple just you have to do one thing here first of all you have to remove it because it's a hard coded value and I want to check my org local so based on the our org local we can check check this one right so you have to use this local first inside here and uh, under currency you have to change it this currency part here just copy and paste it here and uh, just give the comma save this let me deploy it and let's see the output so right now in my org let me show you the org setting and you will be see this one so if you don't know about this uh, like uh, localization in Salesforce just you have to do one thing you have to search like company company information so just click on this company information and immediately you can see here please focus this is a very most important right so here in this one you can see like English India INR so this is the currency local so based on this currency local I will show you this value how to use this so under the LWC I already changed all the hard coded value with my local and currency so you will be see after some time like from this RM automatically remove with my local currency Simba right so how to do that just you have to refresh it and LWC component automatic recognized your local and immediately you can see the rupee five four three two one point one two right so here you can see this one also you can change it based on your requirement let's company information and under the cur uh, cur currency local you can change it just click on this edit 
company information in the last you can see the currency local so based on this currency local it's a automatic recognize using lwc and lwc so this output inside your salesforce so that's why you can see the symbol before the you know like this number so this is how to implement this internationalization in salesforce using lwc so thank you guys this is all about this internationalization in salesforce using lwc so i hope you guys learn something new in this video hopefully and if you feel like this is a very more informative for us so please subscribe the channel please turn on the bell icon for more updates so you never be miss any kind of update from my side and till then bye bye take care see ya thank you for watching guys